This week, there are more than a few Carolina Panther fans concerned Bryce Young might be a bust. You do hear that. Focus on the first round bust rate. You see the numbers. Matt Lombardi says, oh, 40% of quarterbacks hit who are taken in the first round. And that might scare you. But rather than me being the guy who eases your concerns of that, let decades of NFL history be your guide. Going through the last 50 years of the draft, you should know that the odds for success are in Bryce Young and Frank Reich's favor, and here's why. They are going to be the 16th tandem of a number one overall pick quarterback and a newly hired head coach being put together and starting their careers, starting their tenures with the team at the same time. Nine out of the first 15 tandems, just like this one, made the postseason in their time together. That includes Cam Newton and Ron Rivera a dozen years ago. 2011, Ron's first year as the coach. Cam Newton's taken number one. In just a few years, they go to the Super Bowl, four playoff appearances all together, nine seasons together. That it's a great success. But you might be thinking, Josh, Nine out of 15, that doesn't seem like the best percentage. Just because they didn't make the playoffs doesn't mean the quarterback was a bust in those six instances. Or just because the head coach quarterback combo didn't make the playoffs doesn't mean that the quarterback didn't go on to be great. One example of the six that didn't make the playoffs together was Urban Meyer and Trevor Lawrence, for example. Urban. Flamed out after a year, and Trevor made the playoffs his first season with Doug Peterson this past year. So there are outliers. Would you call Vinny Testaverde a bust because he didn't lead the Buccaneers to the playoffs? No, he played 20 years in the league. Would you call Carson Palmer a bust because he never went to the Super Bowl with Marvin Lewis? I probably would not. So sure, the definition, Alex Smith, was he a bust? Because he didn't take the Niners to the Super Bowl. Kaepernick did. I wouldn't say a guy who spent 15 years in the league was a bust starting most of those years. Only three of the quarterbacks out of these 15 scenarios I would call bust. And really, asterisks should be added next to two of the three. Because Tim Couch in 99 and David Carr in 2002 were number one picks for expansion franchises. Which means... You didn't, the reason you're paired with a new coach is because the franchise didn't exist the year before. They didn't play the year before. There's no continuity. There's no chemistry. There's no thing to like, there's nothing to like about the team going into the next season because it's all brand new. Two of the three scenarios that are busts, Tim Couch and David Carr, expansion franchises. And then you've got a pure bust who's an outlier in Jamarcus Russell. Everybody else turned out to be pretty good. Most of them taking teams to the playoffs. But there is only one other team that checks a box that the Carolina Panthers in 2023 does. In NFL history. New head coach, number one pick, and the reason you have the number one pick and you're taking a quarterback is because you traded for that pick. Only one other team can say they've done that. And that's the 2004 New York Giants which hired Tom Coughlin. And then there was the draft night snafu. Eli Manning didn't want to go to San Diego. So there was the draft night trade between Eli and Phillip Rivers. The Giants traded to get the number one pick, which was Eli Manning. And how did that turn out? Coughlin and Eli were together for 12 seasons and they won two Super Bowls. Who knows? That might be the destiny of Bryce Young and Frank Reich. The odds say that they're going to be a success. NFL history says they're going to be a success.